Looking for fast, cheap, and reliable coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuckReserve.com. Head over to MuckReserve.com. They're awesome to work with. They got super cheap, fast, and reliable coins. Make sure you use code Poodle at checkout for an additional 15% off your order. What's up, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to go over some of the updates, the gated franchise, um, kind of the level of pack stuff that Crayola went over on the stream, and go over the, week, uh, the weekend, weekly rewards, and everything, monthly rewards, everything they did give out, as well as, of course, the three of the 50 players now. Before we get into the video, guys, a few, few announcements here. I will not have a face cam. Currently in a COVID quarantine right now. Not sure if I have it. Not, that's why my whole video yesterday, sorry about the whole mess up with the next gen. I was thrown off. I got some news that a few people I may have seen, you know, close people may have been in contact and then they tested positive. So it's been a whole mess. Currently quarantined, not at my own house because, of course, I don't get my family sick. So I had to take my whole setup with me. Of course, I cannot bring everything, my lights, my camera. So I'm going to be working out of this. It's still at my computer and everything, but we'll not have lights or a camera right now. So hopefully the test comes back. We're all good to go and I'm able to get back to the normal routine. But for the time being, guys, this is what we're dealing with here. So, before we get into the video, guys, get into our Poodle Squad shout-out if you're new to the channel and you want a chance to be shouted out, guys. Like the video, comment down below Poodle Squad, and turn that noti be uh, noti bell. Now, shout-out today to, let's see, uh, we got A dot A, A comma A. Shout-out to you, man, for being a part of the Poodle Squad. <laughs> Thank you so much for showing support in each and every video. But that's about it, guys. If you guys need coins, pick up any of these new 50 players. Head over to my reserve down below. Use code Poodle for an additional 15% off your order. But let's start with the screenshot that we do have right here on the screen. Madden NFL directed say, hey there, the import franchise feature is currently gated as the team is investigating an issue. Uh, for the time being, guys, I probably wouldn't mess with that setting. I don't know how that can affect franchises. I don't know if it's just gated and turned off, but definitely um, just wait till there's an update on that. If you do like to play franchise, which I'm a pretty heavy franchise player myself, especially online franchises, you're going to have to wait for that. So if you're still playing on old gen, which I'm currently doing, you could still rock with that. But if you want to play next gen, you're going to have to wait until they do end up fixing this. But let's get into some of the other news here. So here we go. Weekend League Rewards. The weekly Tuesday rewards will be coming shortly after Team of the Week content on Tuesday, so around 2 3, 3, uh, 3, 3, sorry, 3 p.m. So amateurs, one win, you get a Hail Mary pack and 2,800 coins. Rookie is two wins, one Hail Mary pack, 4,500 coins. Let's go to like the, the average, right? So pro. Four wins is that guy that plays a few games and never finishes. Uh, 7,000 coins and 40 trophies, which isn't horrible. I wouldn't say it's good. Veteran is pro tier packs plus midfield, uh, two midfield packs. You get 11,000 coin quick sell and 70 series trophies. Star at 10 wins, you get veteran. Uh, tier packs plus one red zone pack, 21,000 coins, and 120. So those are like the low ones. You guys can read them on the screen. Now, here's what matters, right? I'd say MVP is where the, the good players usually get. Um, All-star tier pla packs plus one touchdown pack plus 36,000 coins and 230 series. So that, I typically fall in the MVP slash legend area. So for me, this is what sucks about Weekend League is, as you see here, Legends 18 wins. It's all-star all -star tier packs, two touchdown packs, and only 50,000 coins. Obviously, the two touchdown packs converts coins. You do get a bit over 100K. But still, it's not anything too great that you don't have to have to play 25 games and maybe win 18 of them. Now, the rank 100 is probably where you the best chances are. So let's say I did make top 100. I last year when I made it, I fell between 75 and 51. So that will get me legend tier packs, plus one touchdown pack, plus 120,000 coins, plus an 87 plus overall player. Again, still not the greatest. Now let's go to rank one. Rank one is legend tier packs, plus three touchdown packs, plus 206,000 coins, plus 880 tr series trophies, and a 91 plus or full legend player so that's good that's solid i mean that's solid. i mean for rank number one i feel like it should be a little bit better because you know you don't not, you, you may only place there once all year you know it, it really just depends and by you i mean competitive madden players not us but moving on from that guys get to the first player uh so here i want to talk about these so these are the upgraded eric e brown and marquise brown for their wednesday night performances you guys probably saw them already but i just want to talk about them real quick so eric e brown now with this upgrade is actually super solid. If you put on play fake on him, he will have the short running threshold and the medium route running threshold, as well as an 88 speed. Now, this is a super solid tight end, probably one of the best tight ends in the game, especially with that speed, and he's going to be able to catch as well, and he's going to have the route running, so that's super, super solid. Now, Marquise Brown is the real, real treasure here. 94 speed on Marquise Brown. He gets all the route running thresholds, all the catching thresholds, and low jumping, but again, you're not, you're not using him as a jump ball receiver. He's more of a burner, slants outs ends maybe shrieks deep post deep crossers you know what you're using them for so marquise brown overall is super 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 solid i really do like this marquise brown again he, if you guys were able to like i've been telling you guys i told you to invest in him and pick him up when he was 91 i told you i had a good feeling about him just catching one i told you i think with marquise brown he's one play away from completing all those objectives and that's exactly what it was he had one big play he, he actually did better than usual that game he had a, a few more targets than usual but Otherwise, it was a rough game considering the fact that, you know, Lamar wasn't playing and everything. So considering that, Marquise, Marquise Brown did pretty good. 
So yeah, he, this card looks great. I would highly recommend you pick him up. But let's move on over and go check out the 50 players. So first we got Shane Lackland. Now people are kind of shitting on the fact that we got a punter. But I actually don't think a punter is all that bad. 56 speed, 65 excel, 93 kick power, 89 kick accuracy, 94 awareness. Now obviously the throw power and all that stuff is going to suck. So don't don't look at that. I mean he's a punter. Occasionally there will be like a Ben Roethlisberger punter on Christmas that can throw. But that's about it. 93 kick power is good. 89 kick accuracy is good. Again, he could be powered up. So you can get him to a 94 kick power. Not sure if you're going to power punter. But the fact you can still pretty cool. I'll be a 95 overall punter for you, which is a solid, guys. Because at the end of the day, you're, he, he, I believe they do help your overall, as well as the fact that a punter's actually, in mud, it's not as useful. I mean, as much as it would be like in regs or franchise when you actually punt a little bit more often. But in mud, there's times you could use a good punt, you know? You're up seven, game on the line, up by a mi uh, with a minute left, and you really got to get that ball deep into territory and, you know, well aimed out of bounds so you can really mess up their next drive. Kid, you can nail one right at the five yard line. Like that, that's what a good punter gets you. And trust me, you'll notice it because there's been games where like I never upgrade my punter. I'm using the basically Trey Way. Well, I call him Trey Way. You guys know Trust Way. Um, there's games where you have him and minute left, you're up by seven, and the punt doesn't go too far because he's not that great of a punter at this point in the game, and it just goes, you know, it goes like 30 yards, and that's it. They're right there. They make one good, one good post, one good out, one good slant, and before you know it, they're in field goal range. And or let's say you're only up by three. Like there's plenty of times you could use a good punter. I promise you. Will I spend 500k on 400k? No. But hopefully he's not that expensive. Moving on, guys, we do have Aaron Rodgers, which is actually super cool. We did get a Rodgers not too long ago. I believe we got that LTD Rodgers. Now we got this 50. So that's going to be a 95 overall Aaron Rodgers, which is super cool. They do get to 95 overalls now. 70. Okay, let's, let's, let's talk about base. 78 speed, 94 throw power, 93 throw short, 91 throw mid, 93 throw deep, 92 throw under pressure, 93 throw on the run, and 91 play action. Now, powered up in Kemdov, guys. So off the rip, he can do everything. Powered up in Kemdov, he gets 89 speed. He'll get 95 throw power. 94 throw short. Now here's the thing. If I would probably go with Aaron Rodgers, I don't know if I'd go go deep or go uh, go deep or I I'd, pr I'd probably go go deep on Aaron Rodgers for the simple fact that with go deep and powered up he gets to a 99 throw deep accuracy, but with play fake he only gets to a 99 short accuracy. I think I care more about that deep accuracy. So he's gonna get the 99 deep accuracy and 99 throw power. So the car's gonna be overall super super solid. Aaron Rodgers probably gonna end up being. I mean, accuracy-wise and improvising and everything, he's going to be the best quarterback in the game. Now, if you're looking for a pure mobile quarterback, probably not. But again, that's not kind of the meta right now. The meta is more like the Brett Favre, the Steve McNairs, and those kind of guys, the Cole Peppers. Like, that's kind of what we're working with this year. Unlike last year, which was more of a Vic, RG3, if, if we had, like, a Thanksgiving. Like, those kind of builds, like, that's kind of what we were dealing with. We have Ray Lewis, 894 overall middle linebacker. Now, Ray Lewis is probably my favorite defensive player in Madden history. Um, but the thing with Ray Lewis is he's a linebacker and this year with the way Madden kind of works here Middle linebackers really aren't that useful because you can just toss a strong state People are running like five to six strong safeties if possible one at free one at strong um, Two two or three in the box if possible But the fact of the matter is with Ray Lewis that he's gonna be able to do just about everything But the issue with him is you're gonna have to use him because he doesn't have that great of a zone So it comes down to two things if you just want a guy that can run stuff and still be fast enough to still play the pass. Ray Lewis is your guy. If you're looking for a strong safety, which people like because they have the speed, height, and the zone coverage, you're probably looking there. But the thing is, he's going to be a better run stuffer than any of those strong safeties because he does get the 92 block shed. If you ever played Ray Lewis in the past, you know that he does get a lot of run stuffs. Like, that's his thing. He runs right through the middle, put out of the way on him, and maybe no outsiders or insiders, and he's probably rocking through all of them. Best way for that, guys. Pretty much does wrap up the video. That is all three. So we got Leckler, Aaron Rodgers, Ray Lewis. If I had to rank them, I'm putting Rodgers first. Ray Lewis second, Leckler last because he's a punter. Although I think I still think he has a use, but either way. And then of course is where the weekly rewards. That's about it. Enjoy the rest of your day. If you guys want to pick up any coins, head over to Mutt Reserve down below. Use code Poodle for fifteen percent off your order. Take advantage. I think the blitz uh, discounts are still going on. And yeah, that's about it. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm out.